what you've We're back. Hello. Assassin's Creed 3. Welcome. Is that a compliment? Well, don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. We saved George Washington, by the way. The people yearn for freedom but fear to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars as is your duty. But do not drag these men into it. Yeah. And for the support of this. We must now all hang together. Yes. We must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly. We shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. Isn't he supposed to sign The British this? intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Oh, uh, okay. That's the end of Secret State. Great guy, great game, guys. See you next time. <laughs> uh, I found another battery. No. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. All right. I could see some. Trees. <laughs> I was gonna say monkeys, but I'm not 100% sh sure monkeys are in Brazil. They probably are. He went through that wall. You there, Rebecca? Bad reception. Can you hear me? Well, glad to see that's working. I'll try you back when I'm topside. What do you mean? He sounded... She sounded completely fine. Vin ho de gila de Tempo para relaxa. Imagina. Antonio de Combate with a weird big guy. Oh, that's me. Wanted. Murder, interstate flight, attempted murder, national firearms act. Desafio Mundial. Mundial. Antonio de Combate again. Hey! Oh, yeah, I want you out of my way so I can just go. Copy now. Loud and clear. What's the plan? According to our intel, the power source is being worn as a bracelet by some tycoon's trophy wife. Isn't that We're working on pinpointing her location, but she's most likely inside a VIP booth on the stadium's upper level. I'll update you when I know more. Now to find a ticket. We don't have time to play nice. Steal someone else's. Bit of a dick move, don't you think? Well, I guess you could try and sneak past security instead. Cert, pode entrar. There's a door over there. I don't mind sneaking in. Confirm a Sepan. Sepan, I think that might say. That doesn't look like normal security. Because it isn't. Those are Abstergo agents. Cross is probably here too. You need to be careful. Got it. There are two people 
people there making out. No one seems to mind them. Hey! Quick, Desmond! Oh, yeah, Hi! Blender! Do something! Your target's definitely in the VIP area. The entrance is the end of this concourse. You can track the guards more easily by using Eagle Vision. Great. I've set up a checkpoint. Stick with the crowd and security will never spot you. Don't let them see you. Seriously, what is the deal with stadiums and piss troughs? It's disgusting. And who thought they were a good idea? time and cost efficient. I don't even see a stall in here. What if I have to take a dump? Yeah, please just mute the microphone if you do. Looks like I'm close. Shit! Another checkpoint. You're gonna have to watch your back. They're on you. Yeah, no getting through the view, young sir. Como assim? Trabalhei aqui há 15 anos e nunca vi nada como isso. Quem você muito. Sente muito? Ela é minha irmã, cara. A porra da minha irmã. Okay. Almost there, Desmond. She's just on the other side of the stadium. Other side? This is going to be fun, walking through this whole place. I'm going to have to wait for him to turn around and go the other way. <sighs> Come on, buddy! All right, don't mind me, I'm just coming through. You're They're really wearing clothes downstairs. now. They're wearing Power clothes. The They're just fully players. clothed in normal outfits rather than actually looking like a boxes, like they're supposed to. <sighs> and people just pop into existence. Back here. If he gets away with oh, the you can't let that happen. I mean, surely they want us to succeed so that they don't everyone doesn't die. Oh, they don't have things above their head because this is the real world. Come on, I'm pressing the deflect button. Get knocked out, you gold bastard. Thank you. Ugh. 
How do you wear that as a bracelet? Seriously, it's huge. Better move. Okay, head for the metro. I'll hold the train for you. Oh, damn it. Stop jumping on things. Whoa. Excuse me. Yeah. Surely they could just stop the train. I still don't understand. How do you wear something like that as a bracelet? Uh, it just seems so stupid. It's like, look at my new accessory. And she has to like... Uh, uh, see? Uh. <laughs> We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. I want to do the power source. First, I want to talk, look at my emails. So, what's the latest? Or Learn actually, anything what? interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. I can't move. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. Yes. Okay, I'm moved now, thank you. Hey, oh, had a little downtime while you were gone, so I figured this is the old things. Uh, 12th of the 31st. Or the 1st of the 12th? Twel what? These dates are weird. For some reason, it's going year, day, month, which is stupid. It or something. I don't know. It's stupid. Um, it's supposed to put it to the restart. I wanted to think you put a pretty decent thing. Blah, blah, blah. The 12th, the 12th, the 7th, the 5th. Uh, Sean is really getting my nose. We got enough to worry about, you know, end of the world and everything. You think each are a little straight maturity or something. We need deep in shit. I don't understand that. This might not be your idea of a good time. Anyone's good. Picking fights isn't going to get worse. And that is when she tries to speak to us. Um. You should not meddle in affairs that do not concern you. Blah, blah, blah. Here's the new stuff. Am I the only one who thinks we should buy a few space heaters? Maybe a couple of jackets too? It's cold down here. I sort of figured that was a powered... As we powered the place, it, it like turn on its climate control systems or something. Guess not. Maybe the first sieves like it this way? All I know is I don't. So I really like for us to pick up some sort of heating solution the next time we head out. Please? Annoying. Abstergo is definitely on to us. Most of the power sources I was tracking are gone. Guess they're rushing to snap them up now that there's that they know what we're up to. We've got the other cells scouting for us, running interference, trying to grab anything they can. It's just hard with our numbers and their resources. Sean's continuing his search for additional power sources. I'm working to coordinate with other cells, having have them re recon and watch for Extergo. Rebecca's been monitoring your sessions. I'm hoping to duplicate some of the recordings and send to other cells for further research. Also hoping there's a way to bypass some of these memories, but synchronization seems to dictate your progress in chronological order. Hopefully someday we'll have a way to move through memories more quickly. It would certainly save us a lot of time in situations like this. Why do you delay? If you do not retrieve the key in time, all the world will perish and you with it, yet you stop to talk or rest. Rest later when your work is done. If, if I seem aggressive, if my words feel more imperative than requested, it's because I fear that you will not succeed in time, and then all of us are doomed. It's like, bitch, we're alive. You're pra practically just data. You don't have to sleep. We have to. We can't just keep going, because then we'll just die. My father was taken from me by human hands, a war they called it, for their freedom. They were not meant to exist. You were not meant to exist. We conjured you a mistake, an error that cost us the world. No, it wasn't. It was the sun that cost you the world. My father would sing to me as a child soft songs of hope and love, his voice forever stilled when your brutish ancestors took up axe and club, later turned our own works against us. We might have known what was to come and averted it had you not dragged us into war. This is your fault. No, it's not. It, it's not. I mean, if you didn't just create people for slave labour, then yeah, it probably wouldn't have been a problem, but no, you did. 
You know, it's rather incredible the way your lunatic fringe tries to conjure the spirit of the Founding Fathers to support their various causes. And by incredible, I mean hilarious. The whole up, the hold up slave-owning sexist homophobes as if that's some sort of ideal to which one would aspire. Oh, and in case you think I added that last bit for fun, as the sexism and slavery bits are already common knowledge, sodomy was a criminal offence for in every one of the 13 colonies except for Georgia and Thomas Jefferson, champion of personal liberty that he was, advocated for the castration of homosexuals. Wow. Lovely fellows, these founding fathers of yours. And now that's, there's that new bit of bandits with people asking for the removal of textbook references to their slave owning. And before you think it was... Before you think to turn it back around and rightly point out their barbarism was inspired by the English law, last I checked, two stupids don't make a smart. <laughs> I thought the whole point of the revolution was to break through the old ways, and it certainly doesn't recommend your founders as the sort of persons one would should aspire to become, unless you aspire to become a manipulative, manipulative bigot. Last you think I'm championing some sort of leftist agenda, I'm glad, I'll am glad. i gladly shame the internet tough guys who celebrate the Treaty of Tripoli as well. Shame on them for thinking it shows anything other than something taken straight from the First Graders Guide to International Relations. Its intent wasn't to prove America wasn't a Christian nation. They were saying they weren't going to reignite the Crusades. Not that, no, that would be delayed for a couple of centuries. No, I don't believe your founding fathers wanted to establish a theocracy, and they probably did intend for the country to become welcoming for of all religions, but this isn't proof of that. I suppose the point I'm trying to make is that people might want to spend a little less time romanticizing and manipulating the past, fast chance that, and a bit more time focusing on how we improve the future, fatter chance still. That's not say there isn't plenty to be learned from looking back, because there is, it's just that most of these lessons wind up ignored or perverted these days, as best it's disingenuous and unproductive. At worst and often it's rather dangerous. Alright, pretty true. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Okay, I guess it got cut off. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. I mean, they say there's something in here that'll help us, but what is it? Ghosts. Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. You have a combination of D DNA hey, points? I don't know. I hope it's not uncomfortable for me to ask, but what happened with Lucy? I don't know. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's fine. I really don't know. I was talking to my dad about it. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, Juno definitely took control, but I think I agreed to it on some level. I think I let her in. No. <laughs> That's not right. It, it wasn't her. Not exactly. It, it was more like a, a program. Does that sound weird? It, it showed me things. What'd you see? That if I didn't stop Lucy, Abstergo would get the apple, and we'd all be dead. I still don't understand why she turned on us. I'm sure she thought she was doing the right thing. Anymore. I gotta get back to work. All you right. might want to do the same. All right, I'm gonna put this battery in a new place, which I think is down here because we saw the door open. What is a fact? Is it fixed? Immutable? Certain in its existence and only awaiting discovery? Or might it be changed? Here we learn the answer and thought that it might save us. They were used to command, to control, to own. But we soon discovered another use. When enough sat in thrall and were told to believe, their thoughts took on form. What was imagined became real. If a hundred minds could wish away a wall or create a tree, what might a thousand do? Ten thousand? More? Might we change the consensus and will the threat away? We resolved to send one into the sky where it might illuminate us all. Oh, just like Abstergo Once was trying placed, to do. A sentence would be uttered. 
make us safe. In this way, we would change the consensus. We would save the world. But... But it never came to be. We sent a dozen of them skyward. But there was no way to maintain control. So there's a bunch of apple of demons in space. To enthrall the world. To speak the words. Though this was strange and dangerous, what we tried next was worse. Why not just make a giant apple of Eden and make it make it so that its power goes global rather than send them into space? Or heck, make the whole planet a giant apple. That's weird. That's just a thing of suicide. Whoosh. Our first instinct was to travel back, to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves, and know what was to come. First we wanted to learn if our work would succeed, but the answer was always the same. So we moved on to other things, but she remained, the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. Much. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. She hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. How are you listening in on this? I'm tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they meant it. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched, I saw them turn it on, and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. Here's the thing though, she kinda hasn't shown anything bad yet, apart from the messages, which is just, yeah, you caused this, and it's like, well, no. And that was just that one message, all the other ones have been kinda coherent. But anyway. Uh, where is the power supply? Wait. Oh, hi. Um. Do I? No, I, I don't. I'll go over here. Whoops. Whee! Oh, I think this just leads to a dead end. I am unsure. This this just seems to be going in a completely different direction now. I'm. These doors are closed. Yeah, this just goes round, so I need to turn this one on first. Um, back I go because there was a jumping thing over here. Do 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 do. Jump. 
closed, closed, open. This way. Here we go. Right, time for the second battery. Hopefully this will make things a little bit warmer for some people. Tell me today. Oh, there's the other entrance to the next battery. That's it. All right. We get away. I'm telling you, there's something down here. Don't be daft. I don't know, maybe they were sleeping or something and we woke them. Some kind of cryogenics or hibernation. I mean, how do we know what the hell they were doing down here? They were working on a bunch of different solutions, but nothing worked. Just went from one to the next and then, I don't know. They must have left at some point, after the end. I wonder what the world would be like if they'd succeeded. I'm more concerned about what it'll be like if we don't. Salvation. They found a way. Too late for them, but not for you. Sealed to protect it. Though now it bars your way. Find the key. The past will tell. <laughs> just, just standing there and they're like, not even paying attention to him. Sorry, Desmond. A little busy right now. Okay, I'll go go talk to my daddy. Hi, Daddy. Come on, son. We got work to do. Oh, you're not even going to talk to me. Find Dad. Find Dad. I'll go talk to the. I'll go talk to my fellow British man. Hello, Sean. Oh, so, I, unbelievable! What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the founding fathers and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another, I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off oh God. scraps of Your paper head. and wishful thinking? They're looking for intent. What these men envision for our country and its future. Idealistic and unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe and why you believe it. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs? Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. <laughs> Jesus, Sean. That's a cynical way to look at it. Doesn't make it less true. I keep trying to understand how men like Washington and Jefferson can dedicate their lives to the pursuit of liberty and equality, yet have no problem owning slaves. It's hypocritical in the extreme, and your history books make only passing mention of the subject, as if, as if it were of little consequence. They had a war to win. A country's future to secure. How could they deal with all these issues at the same time? Spoken like a true apologist. We hear it today, too, that matters of civil rights and equality must wait. There are conflicts to settle, economies to salvage. What do any of these things matter if the people are not free and equal? All of them. I Good wish point. there was a way for us to share what we learn from the Animus with others. Imagine being able to accurately answer questions about the past. Or experience lost civilizations. But how would you cite it? We can't just reveal the machine's existence to the world. <coughs> they gotta do later. Why not? Yeah. Desmond's right. It would be dangerous. And we still haven't found a way to manage the bleeding effect. Maybe when we're done saving the world, we can look into it. Even if we do manage to stave off the apocalypse, it's not like the Templars are simply gonna disappear. I suspect our fight will continue long after this latest battle is finished. Uh -huh. Oh, look at the time. Oh, doesn't time fly? Look, I think it's best we get you back in the Animus, hmm? Okay, fine. 
But with that, we shall stop here. In the next episode, we shall go back into the Animus, see what's happened with Connor, and probably take out the next target he wants us to do. And uh, go from there. So until then, this is Major Shepard. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check the description for Patreon donations. Either all will help immensely, even the lowest amounts. And I shall see you all next time. Bye!